Okay, um, we go over conic sections once again, uh, and in this case we we look at another example um, uh, that is asking us to find the equation of the circle. Okay, and the question says, uh, find the equation of the circle satisfying the given information. And we are told to say the circle passes uh, through uh, three points, uh, which are 2,3, uh, 3,2, as well as uh, negative 4,3. Okay, uh, so the approach that I'm going to use to this question is that uh, I'm going to use two methods. Uh, the first method is where I where I use the general formula. Uh, then the other method is where I make a sketch out of it then to see if I can find any any relevant um, details that uh, will be able to aid me to get um, the equation of the circle that I'm looking for in this case. So uh, precisely in this video, I'm just going to look at the I'm just going to use the, the general formula. Uh, I'll call this uh, the first method, which is M1, method 1. Then, um, obviously, in, the, in another video, we're going to use uh, the different method. But, of course, um, answering the same question to give us a clear picture of what we are really talking about, to give us um, a broad understanding of uh, what we are doing. Okay, so um, to remind ourselves, of course, the general formula, not the standard formula of the circle, but the general formula, which is um, which is in the form x squared plus y squared plus dx plus uh, ey plus, um, plus f is equals to zero. So that's the that's the general formula that we have. So on those three points, to make my work easy, I would like to name them as A, B, and C, point A, B, and C. So what will happen is that when we are using the general formula and we are looking for the equation of the circle, from this general formula itself, we can get the equation of the circle, but we can't just conclude now to say this is the formula that we have, this one here, because we have some uh, variables that are known such as D, uh, e and F and you really need to find what those are and that's what you're going to do in this case. So um, what we do here to find D, E and F is that um, for each point, point A, point B and point C, uh, we are going to we are going to replace for X and Y in the general formula separately meaning we are going to form three equations. That would be a simultaneous equation. We're going to form three equations of, of which each equation is going to have three unknown variables, which is D, E, and F. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, A in this case. So my, in terms of A, my X is 2. So meaning this would be what? 2 squared plus my Y is 3. This is 3 squared plus D here, our X is 2. We put 2D plus our Y is 3, meaning that would be what? Uh, 3e plus f giving us a 0. So 2 squared uh, is 4, 3 squared um, 3 squared is uh, is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13. So we have uh, we have 13 here plus 2d plus 3e plus the f is equals to 0. So what will happen here is that I'm going to subtract 13 on both sides. I want to I want to leave uh, variables on the other on one side and the 13 on the other side as well. So what we're going to remain with is a 2d plus uh, 3e plus uh, f giving us negative 13. So this is basically the first equation among the three equations that we're going to get from the three points. So this is the first equation that we have gotten from from point A. Okay, so I'll write it on the other side. We have 2d plus 3e uh, plus f is equals to negative 13. That's what we get. So we do the same. We just repeat the same process for the other points to get the three equations um, that we are looking for that are going to help us to find the, the values of d, e, and f. Okay, so we go now to b. So b for b, my x is 3. So that would be, um, that would be three, 3 squared plus... Um, plus 2 squared plus 3d plus 2e plus f plus 0. Sorry, is equals to 0 rather. So what you're going to get is a 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, we still get a 13 here, plus 3d plus 2e uh, plus f is equals to 0. So here, uh, what we get 
we are going to subtract 13 on both sides okay that is just for the purpose of balancing it up we want to leave um, unknown variables one side alone so that would be that would give us 3d plus 2e plus f is equals to negative 13 so this is the th the second equation the second equation which is 3d plus 2e plus f is equals to negative 13 okay so last but not the least we got the third point which is point c uh, the equation the second equation that we that we have just gotten is um, from the second point which is b now we go to the third one which is c okay so for c uh, my x is negative 4 my x is negative 4 so i put square there plus my y is 3 so 3 squared plus uh, I'll say minus 4 d here plus my y is so this would be 3e plus f is equals to 0 is equals to 0 here so negative 4 squared is going to give us positive 16 plus uh, 9 plus uh, this would be minus minus 4d plus 3e plus f giving us a zero so uh, 9 plus 9 plus 16 is 25 so we are subtracting 25 on both sides so what you're going to get is minus 4d plus 3e plus f is equals to minus 25 that is the third equation okay that's the third equation so we have minus 4d okay plus 3e plus f is equals to minus 25 all right like that so we have the the three equations that we have and that's a simultaneous equation so what we do in this case is that uh, i believe we are familiar with this so it's up to us like it's up to you who is uh, solving the question to say do you, what method do you use uh, do you use the matrix method grammar rule or anything that you are able to use for me in this case i'm just going to use something basic to um, to help me save time yeah but you can use any method that you that you like uh, unless if maybe you will reach a situation where whereby it is um you are told uh, you, are, you are told exactly the method that you're supposed to use but in this case the question is just open so it's just a matter of us getting what we are looking for okay so these are the three equations that we uh, that we have so what i'll do here is that uh, from these three equations I'm, I'm just going to pick one I'm, just, I'm, I'm going to isolate one equation and in this case uh, I've chosen to isolate the first equation the first equation so from the first equation I can choose I can choose either to make D E or F the subject of the formula of that equation and what I'll do here is that um, I'm just going to use uh, I'm just going to make F the subject of the formula so I'll say my F is equals to um, is equals to minus 13 uh, minus 2D uh, minus 3e so it's more like now this one becomes my this one becomes my my f my fourth equation this one here becomes my what my fourth equation so what will happen is that uh, this fourth equation that we have obtained from the first equation I'm going to replace for f in the second equation and the third equation to help me find the values of um, the values of d and e then afterwards uh, the values of d and e are going to help me find the value of F at last okay so um, I'm going to start with the second equation and replace uh, where this F I put minus 13 minus 2d minus 3 minus 3e yeah so we have 3d 3d plus 2e where this F I'll put minus 13 minus 2d minus 3e uh, is equals to uh, minus 13 here okay so what I'm able to see is that there are a lot of things that we're able to cancel out this 13 can go and that 13 can go okay so what what what, what remain with is um, what remain with is uh, so we have 3d here and we have minus 2d that gives us a d okay then we have 2 2e here and we have minus 3e that gives us minus e minus e is equals to what zero so what we get here is that our d is basically equals to what is equals to e so whatever value that we find for d is the same as for e or whatever value that we find for e is the same as for 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 d if we find 10 for d meaning e is also 10 if we find 5 for e meaning d is also what is also 5 
so I'll just write this on top here just to, to remind myself of um, this this uh, fact that I've that I've come to find. So um, remember to say the, as as obtaining d is equal to e was from the second equation. So let's try to replace in the third equation. We see what we are going to, to get. So the third equation, what we have is minus four d minus four d plus three e, uh, where there's f we put minus thirteen minus 2d minus 3e is equals to minus 25. So here what we get, we, we can see to say the e, the e goes, we have minus 3e and plus 3e, that goes, it cancels out. Then we have uh, minus 4d and minus 2d, that gives us minus 6d is equals to, so we have minus 25 and the minus, th minus 13, of course, when comes this side we're going to have it's going to be plus giving us minus 12 so 25 minus 13 then you carry the sign of the larger number which is 25 that gives us uh, negative 12 so we divide both sides by negative 6 negative 6 here that goes that goes 2 here so our d is equals to what is equals to 2 so now since our d is equals to 2 we have found out that our d is equals to 2 it basically means even our e is also equals to what is also equals to 2 okay so now we use what we have which is our which is our d and e to find what to find our f and hence giving us the equation that we are looking for okay so now um, it's up to us whether to pick the first equation which is this one the first or the second the third or this fourth equation that we have created for ourselves to find the value of f whichever equation that you're going to use you're, that you're going to use you're still going to get the same value so for me i think i'll just use the, the the fourth equation i'll just say f is equals to minus 13 minus 2 my d is 2 minus 3 my e is 2 like that so this is f is equals to this is minus 13 minus 4 minus 6 so this is basically uh, minus th minus 23 so our, we have come to find that our f is, is, is minus what? Minus 23. So now we have what we want. Then it's, um, from, from what we have, it's much easier for us to, to see uh, the equation of the circle that we, are, that we are looking for. So it's now just a matter of replacing where there's d we put 2, where there's e we put 2, where there's f we put negative 23. So here's what we have. We're going to have minus, sorry, we're going to have x squared plus y squared plus um, 2x, where well, this d we have replaced with 2, we're also going to have 2y here, minus 23 is equals to 0, and that's the equation that we are looking for, that's how we find the equation using the what, that's how we find the equation of the circle using the general formula, and there are times maybe they want the equation to be in standard form, remember to say the, the standard form of the equation of the circle is where you have um, x minus h squared here plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared that's the the standard form maybe they want the equation to be in this form and here's how we do it okay here's how we do it so keep in mind to say uh, to remind ourselves the coordinates of the center of the circle is basically h comma what h comma k okay and what we do in this case is that if we want to if we want to if we want to find um, if we want to if we want to put that equation that we, that we have gotten in um, in standard form of course it's x squared plus y squared plus plus two two x plus two y um, plus two y I'll just say equals twenty three because it was minus twenty three it comes positive going on the other side of the equals sign so um, what we do I'm going to I'm going to arrange uh, this I'm going to put the x's together and the y's together so this would be x squared plus 2x plus y squared uh, plus 2y okay is equals to 23 so what will happen here is that um, for each value of b this is b here okay and this is the b of that so we are going to we're going to we're going to complete the square and as we are completing the square for that value of b um, we are going to divide and square the value that we get Okay, so I'll say open bracket. This will be x squared plus 
2x okay so after dividing 2x divide by 2 is 1 1 squared is 1 like that okay we say plus 1 plus like that open again this side okay we do the same we do the same for we do the same for y so this is plus 1 plus 1 here we close plus okay this is y squared plus 2y so the 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 squared is what 1 squared is 1 okay is 1 like that is equals to 23 plus 1 plus 1 we are adding 1 on each on each side so as to 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 maintain the nature of the equation that we have is for the purpose of balancing Okay, so uh, what we can do here is that we can factorize, and as you, fac uh, as you factorize this, this will be x squared plus x plus x plus 1, okay. like that. That will happen, that will be the same as for y, so I'm going to have plus y plus y plus 1 is equals to, uh, plus 1 here is equals to 25 like that so now this is going to be something like x plus 1 squared plus okay plus um, plus y plus 1 y plus 1 squared is equals to what is equals to 25 okay so this is this this is the standard form of the equation of the circle so from from this here from this here we have gotten this as the standard form and in terms of h and k this one here so you can tell yourself that part if you want to get h h is coming from this part and the k is coming from this part of which you can simply say okay now my x plus 1 is equals to what is equals to x minus h so it basically means your h is equals to negative 1 and the same goes for k means also equals to what k is also equals to is also equals to negative 1 and that only comes in if they are so to say us and then after maybe give the coordinates of the circle and the coordinates of the circle in negative 1 comma negative 1 like that and this is basically how we get the equation of the circle using the the, the general formula yeah thank you very much for watching and um, watch out for the next video as we use a different method to solve such equation to give us a to give us a clear understanding thank you